Hello friends, I hope all of you are doing well. I've started with series of videos. I'll be uploading it every week. This is all about power platforms. This is for the beginners. Uh, we'll be learning about power apps and power automate. So please subscribe to the channel to get updates of newly uploaded videos. Also in the description box below, you will find the links to various playlists. It's about power apps, power automate, SharePoint online. Uh, so let's start with today's video. In this video, we'll be learning about Power Automate, another important application of Power Platform. The legacy name was Power Automate uh, was Flow. It was called Flow before when Microsoft launched it. Then later on, they rebranded it as, as Power Automate. Now we'll be learning uh, these things today in the video. We'll be looking at what is Power Automate, what are the main components of Flow, what types of Flow you can create, Flow Portal, is it really a replacement of SharePoint Designer, Expressions, Functions, Backup, uh, Sharing Flows, Migrating Flows. So whatever basic things are needed to start with the Power Automate, we'll be covering up all of those. So let's start with what is Power Automate. It is a cloud workflow engine. You can automate your tasks uh, using this. Uh, this is a part of Office 365 product suit. And uh, whatever subscription you have for your Office 365, uh, Power Automate will be part of it. It is similar to Power Apps. So if you have E3, 5F3 license, you'll be able to use Power Automate. You can create flows, you can run the flows. This is important application of Power Platform. Other applications are Power Apps, Power BI, Power Virtual Agents and Power Pages. Now the main components of the flow are uh, first one is trigger. That's when, when do you want to start your flow? So it's like an event on which you want to start your flow. The next one is actions. Uh, what you want to do in your flow. What logic you want to execute in your workflow. That is uh, the actions. And uh, the third one is controls. Uh, there are multiple controls available in the flow, which you can use. For example, you have conditions. You can have apply to it, do until, for loop, scope, switch all of these controls are available so these are the main components of the flow which you need to use while creating the flow now what kind of flows or what types of flows you can create depending on the triggers you can have automated flows which is let's say item created or item modified deleted these are automated flows instant flow is on demand you can run the uh, them manually or you can start them from another application for example you can start a flow from a power apps app uh, then you have scheduled flows you can schedule the flows to run at specific time then there are some other flows ui flows and business process flows ui flows is rpa like uh, you can have record and play uh, same as selenium uh, you can record the windows actions on your laptop and it will just replay it uh, at the time whenever you want business process flow this is related uh, this is uh, needed in dynamics 365 uh, or even in the model driven app you can use the business process flows to generate a guided user experience uh, you can see it here now from where you can start uh, building the flows from where you can create the flows is a flow portal you can see the url here depending on your region the first part would be uh, here now i'm i'm opening this site from the middle east region and then you have flow.microsoft.com this url is going to change now uh, it would be powerautomate.microsoft.com so i'll just quickly take you to the uh, to the flow portal let me just open up uh, this is my Office 365 landing page. Uh, if you want to start uh, doing hands-on uh, personally, on your, you, if you want to have your own account rather than using company account, you can just subscribe to the developer program. Uh, this will give you 90 days uh, uh, account a subscription. You can use all the uh, applications in the Office 365 and you can renew it. You can continue renewing it. Uh, for an year at least a year I guess 
so from here you can go to power automate this is uh, the flow portal it's just logging in doing single sign on and should be there within a second okay we're here on the flow portal now uh, you can see your notification is being shown now it is uh, saying the URL is going to change from flow.microsoft.com to make.powerautomate.com so as I said this was flow before and they have rebranded it to power automate so now they are changing the URLs also so this is a flow portal and you can see here if you click on create you can see what types of flows you can create automated instant schedule desktop flows uh, business process flows now let's just go back to the presentation the next important point is when you are creating a flow these are the few things you should remember before uh, moving ahead with uh, the logic building up your flow uh, make sure you use a service account because let's say if you leave the organization uh, your account will be disabled and your account was used for multiple connections like to Outlook, to SharePoint or to any anything your account will be used if you are using your own account to create the flows. So I would suggest use service account so that even if your account is disabled tomorrow uh, the service account will still be running up and every the, the other person can take over easily. Make sure you rename the actions immediately after inserting it uh, because these action names are referred in the uh, the child actions uh, the next actions so you, if you rename it properly uh, it would be easy for you and other persons also to understand the flow also add the comments and notes in the action so this is easy for example i'll just quickly if i click on instant here skip let's just add some you can add this particular uh, trigger which is manually trigger a flow you can create a flow which you can trigger manually now let's say if you are getting some items from sharepoint list so you have get items here you can do few things here you can rename this get employee records that's how you can rename it next one is you can add notes here okay i'm getting hr employees in this action okay so this way you can add the notes and and you can rename the action now this action will be used for example if i use the way we can log uh, in any programming language i use compose here to get the output or see the output if we, if it is working fine or not you can uh, just use the compose action now you can see that whatever is the output of previous action you will be able to use it in the next section so if i click on this you can see this uh, the expression what which it gets generated it includes the name of the previous action so make sure you rename it properly and you won't be able to change it uh, once this is being used in the next actions or else you have to make sure that you uh, replace the changed name wherever you have used it in the expressions so moving to the next is this really a replacement of sharepoint designer well yes because microsoft have stopped uh, the support for sharepoint designer workflows now uh, the only Microsoft have recommended to use Power Automate for SharePoint workflows. You can create or you can rebuild all your designer workflows using Power Automate. But uh, it's not only for SharePoint. You can connect to more than 300 data sources. Uh, there are standard and premium connectors. When I say standard, it is free under your Office 365 or Dynamics 365 subscription. When it is premium, you have to purchase separate license per flow per user license you can purchase uh, these are some of the data sources you can look at you can connect to SharePoint Online, Excel, OneDrive, SQL, Office 365, Azure, uh, Twitter, Facebook, 
lot of things you can connect to. Then let's come to the next point which is expressions and functions. There are predefined expressions or uh, functions available uh, which you can use in your flows. Let's say you want to get the the current timestamp, you can use UTC now. This will give you the timestamp. Uh, you want to concat some strings, you can use concat functions. So there are some string functions, date time functions. Uh, there are some logical functions like you want to perform some uh, and or uh, of your expressions or the conditions. You can use these math functions, collection functions and conversion functions you want to convert some types from let's say string to integer integer to string so there are functions available just go through it and you will be able to understand this straightforward not really difficult now once your flow is ready you can there are a few options available you can save as flow as a copy let's say if you are doing more changes in your flow and you want to have a backup you can save it as a copy uh, so that if something goes wrong, you can use that copy and uh, start using it again. And there's one more option, turn off and turn on. Let's say for, for some reason you want to turn off the flows, you want to turn off the notifications, you want to turn off the emails which are being sent for 7 days or 8 days or 15 days. You can turn off the flows and maybe after 10 days when the person is back from the vacation, you can turn on the flows. So there are these options available. Uh, then once you create a flow, let's say you have created a flow using service account and someone else, your department admin, HOD, manager, whoever wants to edit that flow for some reason. They want to uh, make the changes or you are on the leave. They want to take control. You can share your flow with the person. Uh, if I show you here, let's just go back. Okay, I'll go to my flows here and once I open particular flow, there's an option. Let's say I'll just open this. You can see there who is owners here. If you click on edit, you will be able to add a particular user who will be added as a co-owner of this flow without, I mean, that person will be able to update the flow. Okay. Adding another owners allows others to edit, update and delete this flow. You can see it here. So that's how you will be able to share the flows with some other user. Now, how you can migrate the flows from one tenant to another tenant or one environment to another environment is you can individually export the flows uh, or you can export it as a solution. This is similar to Power Apps. You can individually export the flow as a package, export it and then import it wherever you want. Let's say you have different environments or you have different tenants. You can export from one tenant and import into another tenant. If you have multiple apps, multiple flows which are connected to each other or they are playing a part of particular project, you can put all of this into solutions and you can export the solution um, as a one package and import it into your uh, another tenant or production environment. <clears throat> well, uh, that was quick, uh, but more, I think it was effective to start with. I have covered all the basic things uh, to start with the Power Automate. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment box below. I'll, I'll, happy to, I'll be happy to reply to it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel for next videos. You will get the notification of newly uploaded videos and thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.